With the Rockford Starfires resurrecting women's baseball, Byer Stadium is in for some major changes. Exactly 60 years ago, the Rockford Peaches took the field at Byer Stadium for the last time. There used to be locker rooms, and of course we don't have that now, and there were cement stands. Since 1954, the landmark has gone from historic stadium to abandoned field. Starfires! But with the Rockford Starfires bringing back the traditions of the Peaches, Byer Stadium is in for some major changes. They're running the, the water line into the park, so we will have uh, running water here shortly. This year, our, our biggest goal is try and get up a six-foot wrought iron fence down Seminary Street and 15th Avenue with brick pillars in there. Schwanke's overall goal is to make the surrounding area look like it did six decades ago. Behind the backstop where we want to build the bleacher sections and have concessions and bathrooms and locker rooms in there. The changes to the stadium have already brought more fans, more tourists, and more players. There's a lot of people come here because of the Rockford Peaches that are here to see where the Peaches played. And now that we've reinstalled the ball diamond, there's a lot more people coming. When I saw it when I was 10 years old, they still had some of the original stands. It was just all crumbled up and stuff. But now, seeing the difference, it's amazing. The Starfires will host a major tournament Labor Day weekend called the Peach Orchard Classic. Teams from Washington, D.C., Chicago, and South Bend are already committed to playing. Fans can bring a canned good for admission to all Starfires games. I like that. It's something so traditional. They kept it going. I mean, it's been made famous over the years from the movie Obviously, and everything. Obviously, yes. Yeah. Exactly. It's a little bit of history. Yeah. I like it.